Priorities for corporate boards in 2017 and even beyond include overseeing strategy in a very complex operating environment, thinking about capital allocation in the context of corporate strategy and lots of business challenges, examining board composition, thinking about the regulatory environment and dealing with the challenges in that space, overseeing the ever-present and ever-increasing risks, and finally, overseeing the corporate talent agenda. Boards are increasingly looking at the totality of the workforce and looking at strategies that are affecting the workforce across the organization. The talent equation and the talent agenda are far more critical, both from a risk perspective for the boards, but also from an opportunity perspective. At the board level and at senior management level, there's a much greater diversity of talent that's required, be it technology, uh, be it risk management, be it cyber security, and thinking through where to acquire those skills and how to find directors that fit the culture, fit the geography, are willing to travel, but also bring those deeper areas of knowledge that may be new around the boardroom table. I think the challenge is always to add value to the management of the company. If you're not adding value, the obvious question is why are you there to begin with. A lot of directors just quite frankly you know, feel fatigued and the reason why they feel fatigued is they've been so far down in the weeds as it relates to risk management. It's almost counterintuitive in that as a result of focusing so much on the downside of risk, you've almost been creating some risk because we're not focused enough on the upside. In today's environment, boards also have to be thinking about and challenging the company's business model to make certain it's adapting to the environment, it's looking around the corner to anticipate change, and it's structuring itself on an ongoing basis to be successful for the long term. You can't get better results without better strategy and better execution of that strategy. My counsel to fellow board members about dealing with the priorities is just make sure they're identified, uh, they're well discussed, and they're raised with some level of frequency around the boardroom. The EY Center for Board Matters provides data and questions for boards to consider as they're tackling these top priorities.